Yeah. Uh, Nico in the house. Questions regarding CMOs and their relationship to prepayment risk and reinvestment risk due to interest rate volatility. So let's start with, let's start with uh, mortgage-backed securities. You know, the one that shows up on the test is Ginny Mays. And so, Nico, if you and I both put 25 grand in the same Ginny May pool of mortgages, our checks would look exactly like. Boring. You know, and one of the risks we have in a mortgage pass through security like a Ginny May is that if interest rates go down, everybody's going to refinance. And this money is going to come back to us quickly. Test question, Ginny Mays, we don't have any credit risk because they have the full faith and credit of the United States government. But Nico, we do have interest rate risk in both directions. Now, we're not going to be happy if everybody refinances because now the money comes back to us quickly. Sooner rather than later, we got to reinvest it today's lower rate. And Nico, we're not going to be happy if interest rates go up because nobody's going to refinance and we're going to be stuck in this thing for a longer time. It'll extend. And so, you know, the Ginny May investment has an indeterminate maturity. Unlike a bond, we don't know when this thing is ending. It could end sooner, it could end later, depending on interest rates. It's fully taxable. So, uh, you know, one of the legends in our business, Nico, is a guy named Michael Van Rosen. Michael Van Rosen went to Ginny May and said, listen, I don't want to buy proportion ownership in the Ginny May pool. I would like to buy the entire pool of mortgages. And they said, Wow. You know, investment bankers and structured finance, Nico, have discovered that you can make more selling things by the slice. And you can get more money if you give it a fancy French name. You know, uh, I'm not going to get much for snails with butter. But, you know, escargot and burr, now we're talking. Right? So uh, the fancy French word for slice is a tranche. If I say I want to get a tranche of pizza, you know, that's what it is. Now, what uh, we're going to do now is carve this mortgage pool into cascading cash flows. Cascading cash flows. We're going to have, you know, people are going to get paid sooner. People are going to get paid later. That's a little more exciting, Nico, because now our checks aren't going to look exactly like it because it depends on what tranche you'd like to pick. Do you want less risk or more risk? And I saw one of these guys in structured finance say, hey, I just kind of carved a mortgage pool into 150 different tranches. And everybody thinks they got the best tranche. You know, now why is this on your test, your Series 7? Because this isn't a retail product, and retail customers get confused about whether they're buying a Ginny May pool. You are not. You're buying a cash flow from a Ginny May pool. That's an entirely different proposition. You're buying what's called a derivative. So collateralized mortgage obligations, CMOs, are cash flows from a mortgage pool. And it's a, a little more and more exciting now. You know, because I say, do you have more risk or less risk, Nico? I'm baiting you. It depends. You know, some people have less risk because they're at the front of the line. And some people have more risk because they're at the back of the line. It's a little more exciting. You can kind of pick what kind of uh, interest rate risk you'd like to take. Now, second test question. First test question, it's a derivative product. It requires a suitability a, a disclosure to the customer. And they understand that what they're buying is not a Ginny Mae security. Uh, second test question, the early cash flows uh, have more predictability and less risk, and those are called PACs, plan amortization classes. Those have less risk because they have more predictability. And tax targeted amortization classes are the back-end cash flows, and those have more risk. And that, too, is testable. And again, once we've carved up a mortgage pool, CMOs, into various tranches, then we can carve up all kinds of things, credit card receivables and, uh, you know, uh, non uh, non Jenny May stuff. And those are called CDOs, collateralized debt obligations. I will link, Nico, to a video I have.